Good day, I am Ujobi Mark. Today we are to continue our discussion on industrial relations. Um, the last time we looked at what industrial relation is, and we also looked at the different theories. We also discussed the parties involved in industrial relation. Today, we'll be looking at one of the parties, and this party is called the Trade Union. The Trade Union actually started from England and then it spread through the world. Now, it's simply an association or group of persons, of employees in the same industry coming together to protect and improve on their working conditions. Now, what are the things we need to look out for in a trade union? Now, there are certain char characteristics or features that you look out for that will make you understand that an association or an organization is a trade union. The first one is it represents employees of organizations in a particular industry. That is, trade union represent employees of an organization or of organizations in a particular industry. When we talk about particular industry, we are talking about, e.g., we have, we could have in the educational industry in Nigeria, in the education industry or sector, we have trade unions like ASU, that stands for Academic Staff Union of Universities, or we have ASUS, ASU. We also have an association like NUT. Now, ASU simply stands for Academic Staff Union of Universities. It's a trade union representing all academic staff in Nigerian universities. And then we have ASU that stands for all the academic staff in Nigerian Polytechnics and then NUT, which is Nigerian Union of Teachers that represent all the interests of all the teachers in Nigeria. Another major feature of a trade union is that it is a pressure group. And we all know what pressure groups do. It is also a working class movement. So far, we have realized that trade union is also a, a, the employer's regulating device. That is, the trade union That is, they go into negotiation with the various employers with respect to the working condition of their members. They are also political institutions in their internal structure and procedure.
So far, we have been able to look at five different features or characteristics of what is an, a trade union is. Now we're going to look at the purpose or the reason for trade unionism or trade union. What are the reasons? Why do we have trade union? Why are they essential? Why are they relevant? Now, these associations cannot just be formed like that. They have reasons why they are formed. And one of the basic reasons is they negotiate wages and terms of condition for their members. Negotiate wages and working conditions or terms of working conditions for their members. It's a simple working conditions for their members. They also regulate the relations between the employers and the employees or between the employers and their members. That is, trade union regulate relationship between their members and their employers. Furthermore, they take collective actions to enforce resolutions of collective bargaining. You know, when you have issues in an organization, for instance, when we talk about wages or terms of condition, and there are crises or differences arising from this, they are bound to be bargaining between the employer or representatives of the employer and the employee. And so it is, one of the purposes for a trade union is to ensure that the resolutions that resolutions arrived at during discussions or collective bargaining during discussions or collective bargaining are enforced. Furthermore, they help set two grievances. You know, there are instances where an individual employee, this time around, not the whole employees, there are instances where an individual employee will feel um, he or she is at a disadvantage or is not being treated fairly. Now, one of the purposes for having a trade union is that they help settle such grievances. Settle grievances. And so it means that they intervene to protect collective interests and they also intervene to protect interests of individual members. They also raise new demands. One of the major purpose or reason for a trade union is they also raise fresh demand or new demands on behalf of their members. For instance, what is currently happening in Nigeria, a situation where the economy is actually not doing well and they feel that the current or the, the current minimum wage of 18,000 is no longer sufficient. And so the union will now have to raise a demand for increment in the minimum wage. That is why now we have a new minimum wage in the country. It used to be 18,000 naira. 
And just recently, the president signed a law saying that the new national minimum wage should be what? 30,000 naira. So from this point to this point. And so what they have done is they felt that this amount was no longer sufficient, was no longer useful. And so they had to make Fred and they negotiated the government to arrive at 30,000 naira. Now, what are the functions and objectives of trade union? What are the functions and objectives of trade union? The first major function of a trade union is to provide job security. For all the members. That is, the trade union ensures that the members are not unnecessarily retrenched or dismissed. There must be justifiable reasons why a member or members can be asked to go. No organization can on its own just decide that it's going to lay off staff without justifiable reason. And so this is one of the reasons or this is one of the major functions or objective of the trade union. They also secure improved working conditions. Two, another major function of the trade union is to secure improved working condition for its members. That is, when they feel that the existing working or terms of work, working condition is no longer so, sufficient, they now try to imp secure an improved condition in terms of wages, in terms of allowances, in terms of um, benefits and what have you. I just gave you an example of what just happened, that just before now, the national minimum wage was 18,000. And then the union you know felt that, oh, this is no longer sufficient because of the existing or prevailing economic situation. And so they went into negotiation with Employers of labor represented by the federal government and other and all representatives of um, the private sector, and they arrived at a fresh minimum wage of 30,000. They also protect the identity and interests of employees in, in their industry. They protect their identity, that is, trade union. protect the identity and interests of their members. And so it simply means that no member of a trade union can be unfairly treated. They obtain better working returns or better economic returns for their members. I've said that before in terms of wages, allowances, benefits. And they also secure power. One of the major, major functions of a trade union is to secure power. Sorry. to influence trade union secure power to influence management of their organizations in terms of decision making and they also secure power To inf 
influence the government at various level or various levels with respect to labor laws. So by and large, these are the major functions of the trade union. And so far, in this short session, we've been able to look at what a trade union is. We've also been able to look at the characteristics or the features of a trade union. And we've also been able to look at the functions or objective of a trade union. Next class, we'll be looking at another party in industrial relations. That is, we'll be looking at Employers Association. Like I told you when we started, the trade union is a body representing the employees. And so the employers also have their own body called the Employers Association. And so that's what we'll be looking at in the next class. Thank you very much.